fresh and uh, I have to say, after all these years, mate, you really still are fresh. How do you do it? It's a bit scary. I don't know, man. I guess I kind of get bored of, of doing the same thing. Do you know what I mean? So I'm always trying to do something different. I don't know if it's if it actually works, but for me, I, I have to kind of feel at least that I'm trying to do something different. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And the weird thing is I never actually... Um, the reason I actually picked the name Fresh had nothing to do with anything like that. So... Oh, what was re the reasoning behind it? It was because um, I was like on pirate radio and I used to scratch this record that said Fresh. Okay. And everyone was like, you have to come up with a name and I couldn't think of a name and they were like, why don't you call yourself Fresh because you're always scratching that ridiculous Fresh record. Brilliant, that's great. So you started out on pirate radio. How yeah, long ago was yeah, that? Yeah, that was like um, literally, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago or something like that, maybe even longer, so it was a while ago. How did you find it? Because I was going to I was gonna ask, would you ever have a radio show now? Would you have one if like Radio 1 came out or Kane FM came out and said, do you want a radio show? Would you ever like doing something like that? I have actually been asked to do um, shows by a couple of the really big stations and um, uh, to be honest, I think it's like, it's an art, you know, I think there are really, really good radio DJs. And I'm not really sure that, A, I've kind of got the time to do all the research into music, you know, because you need to come up with like a fresh, like, three-hour set every week. I know, tough. And I'm kind of, you know, trying to make music all the time. So yeah. I don't know if I've really got time to, to really, you know, com you know, sort of be as good as those guys at that. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I definitely enjoy, like, you know, being on other people's shows and people phoning in and stuff. It's quite fun, do you know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. Radio is a very cool medium. So yeah, if you ever change mind, there's <laughs> definitely space for you at Kane FM. I'll move so out for you. Slot, okay. <laughs> um, from your set just now, I mean, you absolutely ripped the dance tent to shreds, in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, is it? Am I right to say that dubstep at the moment is making you more excited than drum and bass? I don't know about that, but I guess um, you know I've been making drum and bass for a long time. And I think the, the dubstep that I make is, is very drum and bassy dubstep, do you know what mm. I mean? It's kind of like dubstep tempo, but you know, people like Flux Pavilion, Dr. P, they've all kind of come from more of a drum and bass kind of background. Mm. So a lot of the stuff that I play and a, and a lot of the stuff that I make is, is very drum and bassy dubstep, you know. But it's, it's nice to be doing some stuff at a different tempo, and it's also really nice writing songs at dubstep tempo. It's a little bit... Uh, more natural to put vocals to than drum and bass is. Drum and bass is so fast that when you try and write a song around it, it's kind of quite difficult to find like a nice kind of flow, do you know mm. what I mean? So dubstep's a little bit more, it reminds me a little bit of kind of like massive attack and mm. more like the old the sort trip of trip hop beat. kind of stuff, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. And I mean, of course, I've got to mention, I don't know if anyone's told you, but your single Louder reached number one last week. They probably really? haven't mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. You no, I had looked. absolutely no idea. Oh, well, it did. You know, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thanks. Um, how did that feel? Did you in any way expect it? Someone, have, I've overheard someone say to you, I would have thought Gold Dust would have done that more and I would have to agree. So was that kind of a surprise for you? Yeah, yeah, totally. You and, know, and I wasn't expecting it, but I mean, it, it's kind of weird because a lot of people around me in the music industry, like you know the record label ministry and all the people doing the promotion and, and other people that I know that are a bit more in the sort of pop side of things, they were all saying, you know, it sounds like it's going to be a number one record. And I was like, uh, sh you know, whatever, mate, you know what I mean? So <laughs> it was, yeah, I wasn't expecting it at all. It was really, really mad. And I think it kind of goes to show the way that the charts are gradually becoming a bit more of a real reflection of, of like, you know, of, I don't know, of like the UK, you know, and mm. of young people in the UK who, who now really like, you know, drum and bass and dubstep and sort of bass music. So I think that's a really, really cool thing. It's really nice to be a part of that. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you're enjoying that because you know, you're now going to get hooked. First number one, <laughs> next it's going to be one number one album, maybe. I know. I don't know how I'm going to top that, really. That's the problem. I was thinking about this. I'm like, do I have to get like number one for like three weeks now? Do you, know do you have mean? to get a Grammy? Probably, that would be good, yeah, that would be great. What has been, I mean, for me, I fell in love with drum and bass and because of Bad Company, basically, you know, over 10 years ago, that was what got me excited when I was a little girl in Reebok Classics. Actually, nothing's changed, really. The classics are gone, which I'm just on to Adidas now. But you have done a lot of pioneering stuff for music, for me personally. What's been your proudest moment? There's been a few things that must be really seminal in your mind and your history. I, you know, I definitely, I think this week really has been just because like I've had my parents and I had my family, some of my family from South Africa and they were calling me up and they were like, oh my oh. God, we're so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I was just like, I know it's really weird because obviously they've always known that, you know, within what I was doing, that people said I was doing cool stuff and, mm. you know, but nobody really understands drum and bass that isn't into it, do you know what sure. I mean? Oh, so exactly. it's kind of the first time that I've done something, apart from Gold Dust, where people that don't really understand what I do have, have understood that, you know, I'm, I'm making cool music and it's getting a good reaction. It's crossed over a little bit to yeah. that more ma mainstream appeal. Which yeah, which obviously like your parents and stuff, that's the kind of thing they care about. You know Unless I mean? your parents go to raves, but that is a rarity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I actually, I took my mum to a rave once. Did she love it? She, she, she liked it so much that I didn't, I don't really want to take her back. It kind of freaked <laughs> me out a bit. She fitted right in. She was she a natural. Was really, really raving. Like I looked around at her, <laughs> and I was like, "Who's that bird? Like going for it on the dance floor?" And it was my mum. It's my mum. Mum, we're going. We've like, got to oh, go now. Is, yeah, this is a bit wrong. <laughs> so you've got to tell me. You know, we love secrets here at Kane FM. What's coming next from the fresh Breakbeat Chaos camp? Um, well, I'm just. I mean, basically, like uh, I'm. I've just done a sign to Ministry of Sound, so. I'm kind of working on an album for them and I'm putting together a live show for the end of the year, Great. which I'm really, really excited about. Um, and then obviously on the label, we've got some really cool stuff going on. Brooks Brothers have just released their album, which is amazing. Um, and we've got some stuff from Pixel Fist, more Brooks Brothers stuff, stuff from Sigma. Um, I'll probably be doing some more kind of jungly underground stuff soon as well. So yeah, that's still going strong as well. Brilliant. DJ Fresh, thank you so much. It's an absolute pleasure and an honor. Thanks.